in the early days, obviously trying to make a car go quicker was a bit of the interaction with the driver and uh, the engineers at that stage, but not a lot of data involved. So you obviously had the stopwatch, you know how fast the car was going and a lot of interaction with the driver and feedback from the driver. And as things have gone on, we've got more and more data to work with. Before telemetry, drivers would get feedback. They'd probably get their lap times of the last lap on their pit board and that will have grown exponentially to uh, getting messages on their dashboard, to actually the car set up being changed while they're driving it, um, to radio messages. Bring him in now. Box this lap, box this lap. As data first arrived on the scene, it started off really as being more for the duty cycle of the car. So you'd have people working at the racks, in the back of the garage maybe, looking at if the engine was functioning correctly, the real fundamentals of the car. And as things have moved on, that's become more performance data to the point where all race engineers on the pit wall are now looking at live telemetry. So we're actually trying to make the car go faster. So we're looking at how the driver's driving, how the aerodynamics are working, and those sort of aspects which are going to try and improve performance. Some of the key areas during the race itself will be uh, brake temperatures, uh, tyre temperatures, how the driver is, uh, is actually driving the car, how, what's his, his throttle usage, his brake usage, uh, what's the chassis balance uh, and how he's reacting to the, the steering wheel and the controls that he has in the car. Um, and that also that then feeds into the tyre degradation, how he's managing that uh, and how we're going to get the best race performance by optimising uh, all of those factors. I think in modern day F1, one of the major challenges now, we have a lot of data to look at. Um, we have a lot of people looking at it, engineers working both at the track and also back here in Mission Control. And one of the major challenges is really getting the right information through at the right time. So for us now, speed of response is really important. We've got loads of data out there that we need to get out as quickly as possible, make the car go fast, and having NetApp on our side is a real asset.